it is 5 10 in the morning so i took a private auto from hospet and i have reached in front of the virupaksha temple so the temple is not open yet it will uh, it will open at 6 o'clock 6 6 30 in the morning so i still have one more hour to go so i will probably go in front of the temple and sit somewhere you know until it opens and uh, then i can show you guys around this is the entrance of the temple currently the time is around 6 35 in the morning so it's it opens at 6 30 so i will try to keep my shoe outside there is some shoe stand so i'll keep my shoes there and uh, i will head inside the temple so yeah let me go inside and i will show it to you guys and that's lakshmi she has been in this temple for last 35 years she stayed she stays in the temple itself you're not allowed to take pictures inside i mean allowed nahi hai you cannot use cameras or anything inside the temple so yeah i did the same i followed the rules so I didn't took any pictures however you can see uh, the view how beautiful is this was one of the best time i mean you have no idea how vijayanagara was looked during the 13th to 15th century at that point of time and you can still see the architectures over here i mean just look at the carvings out of the stone isn't it magical absolutely divine i'm not sure whether you guys can see that or not there is a hot air balloon flying up i mean uh, there i hope you guys can see that right now you can see the inverted image of the temple the main temple and you can see it's in a straight form over there but through this pinhole you can see the inverted image the view of the temple from the other side we went uh, we were inside and now i am towards the exit and this is how it looks from this side this is the entrance of the temple we get inside from this side and uh, i was unable to show you guys earlier so i'm showing it now and this is how you go to the temple if you take left you will meet lakshmi and then inside the temple now look at the view i came to this hilltop walking down from that side i don't know where it goes I'm not sure about the hilltop though and uh, the view is spectacular isn't it and if you want to see my pictures that I've clipped from my camera, you have to follow me on Instagram, man. The Lonely Traveler.in. So the pictures are uploaded there, the videos are here. Hope you guys are enjoying as much as. God, it's beautiful. You guys have no idea how long I have I have just dreamt about coming to Hampi. Man, I love this place. I love this place. It's a very beautiful place. I'll try to go a little bit up, you know, take a few more pictures and all, and then I will. Uh, I'll go to another site, another place to see something beautiful, to click some more picture. Vitala temple is there, the stone chariot is there. So a lot of things I have to cover. Uh, so after getting out of the temple, I am here at the Cream Chaser Cafe. So I just had a cup of coffee and just spending some time with an old friend I met and uh, yeah this place looks absolutely magical Oh, <laughs> 
the sun is pretty high and it's very hard to take a walk I thought about taking an auto rickshaw but you know it will take around around 12 kilometers to reach to the Vithala temple so this is the shortcut where I can go by walking but it is only three kilometer but this is scorching heat you know god it's a long walk it's a long walk but you can see the ruins right the best of Vijayanagara kingdom between 13th to 15th century Vijayanagara kingdom was at its peak you know it was one of the largest city in the world after Beijing and probably the wealthiest in India the stone chariot of Pompey finally I reached the place and that's can you see the crowd it's too much isn't it after all it's weekend so I cannot expect any less The sun is too high man, too hot. Pretty much like I said before, scorching hot. The place is phenomenal. You can see the sculptures, you can see this as well. See the interior. The sun is too high, man. I won't be able to stay here for long. It is so peaceful and majestic at the same time. So after getting out of the Vithala temple, there are uh, kind of, uh, you know, vehicle that you can hire to go back to the parking and then you can take the other way. So I decided not to take those kind of vehicle and I decided to walk again in the scorching heat. So just on the way to show you guys, you can see the ruins and you can see out there. Absolutely phenomenal and you can see the humongous big rocks out there. There is a temple on the top. I'm not sure. Uh, is that Anjanadri hill? But... Uh, Let's see, I have a plan to go to the Anjanadri hill, not today, maybe tomorrow. So, I will work on that. Or, uh, and it's very hot man, I can't tell you man how hot it is in the month of March, you know. The best time was till January, February, but you know, uh, from March basically summer started and in its peak. I know, currently the temperature is somewhere 35 degrees, 34, 35 and in next upcoming months like maybe in the month of may june july it will be at peak around 40 degree celsius over here so yeah so ending my day here at the hemkut hill and you can see how beautiful the sunset is however there is no sun because of the clouds there are too much clouds today so yeah and you can see the temple from here as well and uh, oh god this place got so much positive vibes absolutely divine in here so yeah done for the day we'll head back uh, to the Humpy Bazaar and uh, maybe I will check out check for a room because I haven't booked a room yet so of course I'm too tired and drained and exhausted need a place to stay day two good morning from Matunga hill it's a very steep climb I started the journey somewhere like around quarter to six in the morning and I reached here at 6 30 so 45 minutes of walking and some climbing up the hill it was tough that's my camera and the Virupakshi temple is there however the GoPro won't be able to do much justice because I don't have a zoom in that so I will zoom from this and I will put it in the video 
you can you will be able to see that that's look pretty good and that side the river that you can see that's Tungabhadra it's nice and this side you can see green vegetation Ooh. Раз руки налил такой. А, там вылил все. Все. What is this place? Queen's Bath. Queen's Bath. Gotta take some pictures now. This is the way the water used to come from this side and used to go here which makes this place it used to be I mean uh, supposed to be a swimming pool sort of thing and uh, yes of course and hence the name Queen's Bath oh that's nice but believe me the weather is so hot in Humpy right now I'm not sure about the Queen but we definitely need a bath you know too much too much heat man it's pretty much like heat waves you know very hard to roam around the whole day you know wearing caps and glasses but still all right i guess pre that's pretty much it and you can see the construction the architectural works pretty pretty fascinating i would say that hazara ramachandra temple you just look at this so well maintained by the asi i mean they did a fantastic job preserving our heritage so yeah just look at the look at the architecture i think that's that's lord krishna that's vasudev in there how big was the king's audience hall okay that's pretty much it that's the audience hall so after the king's hall we come here royal enclosure so this used to be like this you know full of water and everything which has been dried out completely man i feel bad about that we really need some rain you know we need to plant more trees and everything but this has a vibe in it just imagine this place in its full glory during 13th to 15th century how beautiful it would have been at that point of time we can't we can't even imagine we can just you know try to make up some you know the pictures in our mind but uh, we really cannot never know how beautiful it was currently we are here this is the elephant's stable so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven eleven elephants you can keep it here together one of them in each just see so again i we took the uh, the ticket we have to purchase a ticket from the asi archaeological survey of india and we paid around 35 bucks because we paid it online for a single per person so me and my friend vishnu we paid 70 rupees for both of us and i hope it's worth a visit you know the sun is at peak however it looks good in here
this is also lord hanuman and inside as you just see the sculpture lord hanuman of course memorial stone this is naga hero stone birbhadra this is again nagini lord ganesha this is garuda bhairava garuda and how can i miss this this is ananta sayana or ananta sayan the way i would like to say it that's the supreme lord her that is so beautiful lakshmi narasimha garuda and the head is missing very much so that how it goes you know absolutely phenomenal the carving out of stone is mind blowing you cannot you cannot find this anywhere in the world indians where's the best architectures you know and lord shiva himself if i see something terrific again i will turn on my camera for you guys and uh, also lord hanuman in here see this so here are we in front of uh, the lotus mahal so i don't have the power to tell you the story guys i think this was a this was the place where you know they used to come in the evening the king and the queen and used to relax over here you know so i think so so if i'm wrong please don't kill me i have to check it out there i mean that's my opinion i mean it's a nice place to relax though you know chill air is blowing through in the evening you are coming sitting here and spending some good time All right looks like quite of an architect you know architectural marvel i mean this entire the vijayanagara empire hampi and around its places there is a place called badami i haven't been there yet but i have plans so this place are this the places are phenomenal i mean indian architecture used to be the best in the world getting out of the lotus temple we are here kind of a restaurant inside uh, the campus itself so i uh, took one lemon soda you know so i really needed that so this is and uh, one sandwich so kind of nice you know i was hungry a bit 